inside my room. Oh, hell no! Nah. Joey better be locked away. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jem, and in today's video, we're gonna be watching scary shorts. I'm gonna do a new series. This is gonna be the first ever series of me watching scary animations. And the first one that has been recommended is Lights Out. <clears throat> That's pretty creepy. Damn, do you see them ass cheeks? Yeah, it's okay if it's not an animation. She's like, this light ain't turning off. <clears throat> or it's like spooky scary. Corey does spooky scary Sundays. So I'll do something like that too. That's not copywritten, right? I'll just steal that idea. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, get up and turn on the lights. <clears throat> oh hell no. Nah. Mm mm. What are you doing? <laughs> Me too, I love Cory. Cory is like my OG favorite YouTuber of all time. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's so cool to have, like, this was... Okay, so this was a short that was submitted to... So, Who's There? This film has been submitted to Who's There? A horror short film challenge. Wow. And they better have fucking won, first off. Did they win? Oh, they did win. That's pretty cool. And then this idea was taken to... Into a movie. That's really cool. All right. Next one. Is that the same woman? Apple and some coffee? Oh my god, look at that. F look at that phone. That is crazy. The camera's gotta eat first. Phone eats first. Why is her hand also gone? This happens all the time, you know? This is a casual occurrence for me. My food just disappears. <laughs> oh my god. There she goes.
Look, it's the bed again. The comment says it's good. <laughs> Who the hell... Who's this woman that plays a monster? I think it would have been honest... Like, it would have been cool if, like, it was just the apple. But I understand... That the camera's like showing a different reality. I was looking for a car to buy for my son for his 18th birthday. I was searching all the typical car websites. Well, the typical. Com, eBay Motors. Yeah, they were good. They were all they were overpriced good. as expected. Craigslist was the only place to find an actual deal. Oh, I've s I think I've seen this search, one. I found an 03 Toyota Camry. It had 67,000 miles. No accidents, no damage, and good condition for only 3500 This seems like a steal for such a reliable car with What a steal! The seller lived oh about 10 miles from me, which was a reasonable drive when looking for a car. I gave him a call to set up a time to come check it out. The man sounded normal on the phone. He assured me that there were absolutely no problems with the car. He introduced himself as Bob. I brought Bob look wretched. In cash, even though I planned on wiggling down the price as much as possible. <laughs> I pulled up the dirt road to Bob's property about 15 minutes early. It was a tiny little house with a decent sized property, only because it was a bit far from the nearest neighbors. The garage was open, so oh, wait, no, I, I haven't seen this see one. if anybody was inside. But except for an unusual amount of car parts, it was empty. The car was nowhere in sight. The only car on the property was an old pickup truck. I went over to the front door to check the house numbers. It was the right address. That's the doorbell so... button was missing, so I knocked on the front door. I knocked for exactly five minutes before deciding to give the man a call. So I dialed his number and I heard the sound of a cell phone ringing from inside the house. I was extremely confused at this point. Now I knew I had the right house. I didn't understand why, if he was home, why he wasn't answering. I decided I had to take a peek through one of the windows to see if anybody was inside. Peering through the glass, I couldn't really see much. Peering through the glass! Inside the house. I saw a very old-fashioned dining room set, but across from that, I saw somebody standing at the back door of the house, staring at He's outside. just like... I figured that must have been Bob. Flexing. So I knocked on the window, but he didn't even move. Hey! There give me no that car! Into the backyard. <laughs> it was just a wide open yard since this wasn't a rural area. <laughs> that is scary. I simply walked around the house to the backyard. It's giving Resident Evil 7. I hear me. When I got to the back door, I made a shocking realization. The figure standing by the door was a taxidermied human being. I ran straight back the way I came and back to my car. I looked up one last time before driving off. The blinds to the window I had peeked into had been shut, but I could see two of the blinds bent open. Somebody was at that window watching me. It was you Bob. You probably guess I had the gas pedal to the floor the whole way home. The whole situation still makes no sense. I still didn't get that parts, Toyota Camry. The there was no Toyota Camry, the taxidermy That's human scary. Being. The fact that there was no car there leads me to believe that whoever that man was wasn't planning on selling me anything. And that also leads to the disturbing thought that I was very close to becoming a lifeless statue staring out that man's back door. Did this guy call the cops? Did he talk to the cops about this? I would have been driving straight to the police station. Been like, oh yeah, there's a taxidermied human. Oh my goodness. I was on tour trying to find some really deep websites. I Next story! Room, where people normally shared links to deeper websites and weird pictures and videos, commonly illegal pornography. Oh, that's some nice. A guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link without describing what it was. I clicked on it and it took me to a black screen where a big video box eventually popped up with a play button. The video thumbnail was a dark room only lit by a TV screen. Out of curiosity, I clicked play and began to hear the sound of TV static in the background as lines of static slowly swam down the video screen. Why would you be watching? First off, no why are you on the dark on web? Video. 
Second off, why are you watching this? Slowly begin to emerge you could only imagine the what the fuck is on there. It was a figure dressed in all black with some kind of black mask on as well. Mask. I started to suspect it was a jump scare video, and I thought I was right when the figure leaped out and ran to the screen in less oh than my a God. second. It still got me, even though I was expecting it, but then it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me and was observing me. Then I heard a crackly, demonic voice say something. It oh came my God. The video. It repeated itself, and I can make the phrase out to be, ask me something. I was really confused. Oh my I tried God. I something, but there was nowhere to enter text. Then he said, He's like, how do you no, put an essay in M MLA format? Something. I felt my heart punch the inside of my chest as he said this. I opened my mouth and mumbled the words, You can hear me? It responded with, Yes. That's so scary. I, I pressed pause, but it didn't do anything. He said, Mess around, leave, fuck around, we'll find talk. out. I tried moving the mouse. Do you want to fuck button, around? But the mouse was You're going to find out. In fact, none of the keys were responding on my keyboard. There was a long moment of silence before my webcam began flashing as if it were on, and my face popped up on the screen. Oh, and there, oh. I got a picture of you now. Now just hang on while I get your address, and then we can meet. I started to panic, smashing every key on the keyboard, spazzing Call the, the mouse, cops. But it did nothing. <laughs> Call the cops. I had my finger on the power button, but it also didn't do anything. The computer wouldn't turn off. The voice was saying crazy things like, You're stuck here. I will find you. Don't even bother. That's I crazy. The I on desk, unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of my laptop and took out the battery. The computer finally turned off. I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. My heart was pounding five times as fast as it should have. I have since left my laptop off after that and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. You don't think they could still get your IP sure by now after that? Will oh my god. He definitely didn't have enough time to get my address. I think that's good. For me to be home alone at night. As I only lived with my I think dad, that's good. And his shifts would constantly shift from days to nights. This happened around the time my dad was doing night shifts. I would stay up really late on these nights watching movies. It's always taken me a long time to fall asleep. So Yo, is that Gojo? Turning off the TV to go to sleep. I probably laid there for a good half hour. Then I heard a toy fall over in my toy closet. It was nothing too suspicious, but it still creeped me out. Toy story? But then the doorknob to my closet started to wiggle until finally unlocking the door. I First off, my covers not making a sound. Why is your closet it locked? It was strangely quiet for a good two minutes, so I finally peeked my head out of the covers. There was a figure standing next to my bed looking down at me. I screamed at the top of my lungs and began hugging the wall behind me. The figure looked out the window. Who, how do you and hug a wall? Out of the room. I stayed in that <clears throat> The front door was left wide open, so it seemed he had left. That's scary as hell. I didn't get a minute of sleep that night. He was just like, oh! Wrong closet, oops. He said one more. Alright, I'll do one more, but I'm gonna end the video. Actually, I'll record it too. This, this video is a mess. Put this at the end of the video. My editor is gonna be like, what the fuck? What are you doing? I used to have a boy living next door to me that was obsessed with me. Uh oh. His name Ruh -roh. Every time Ruh -roh. Go outside, Joey would come outside as well. Is Joey a 30 year old man? Me through his windows waiting for me. He was 17 and very weird. And he didn't seem to have any friends as he was always home. I tried to give every sign possible that I didn't like this guy. But mm -mm. He didn't get the message. So I had to finally just tell him one day that I don't like him and to leave me alone. The look on his face that day is something that won't leave me. Hey, yo, Dragon it Ball Z? The kind of angry look a toddler gives their parents when they can't have a toy. Coming from a 17-year-old, that's much more disturbing. One night, my parents left me to watch the house. I was working on a school project when I felt my bed shift a little bit. 
Mm -mm. I looked under my bed. I screamed as I saw Joey laying under my bed. That's so scary. I ran away while he tried to crawl out from under my bed. I ran to his house and rang the bell at least ten times, telling his parents about it when they opened the door. Joey never came out of my house, so I called the police. His parents begged me not to, but I ignored them. The police found him still in my room and arrested him. Apparently, he admitted this wasn't the first time he had hid under my bed. They also found pictures of me scattered across his room. The most disturbing one was of me sleeping, and it was taken from inside my room. Oh, hell nah! Oh, hell nah! Joey better be locked away. Oh my god. Okay, that is the last one. We're not watching anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares. I'll probably have better organization next time when I do one of these spooky, scary Sundays. But that is it for this video. I'm probably gonna end streaming here too. But if you guys would ever like to, for those of you on my main channel, if you've ever want to join my VODs, make sure to check out my VODs channel. I go live stream. I try to go live like at like 8.30 every day, kind of. Also, check out my website. I sell merch. This is one. I'm trying to encourage others to improve mentally and physically. So that is my brand. If you're interested in checking that out. Other than that, thank you so much. And I'll see you in one of my next ones. Bye. I get the money and it's right on the phone. I'm in the OPEX, I'm in my coat. I'm holding the phone, I'm telling my love. You wanna be.